It's Madden NFL 24, and it's presented by EA Sports. It's the Denver Broncos and the Detroit Lions, and it's all up next. Downtown between Brush Street and I-375. That's where we're located in the heart of Detroit at Ford Field, which first opened back in 2002. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Denver Broncos taking on the Detroit Lions. Brandon Gaughton alongside Charles Davis. And before kickoff, Charles, quickly, your keys to the game. Well, partner, I could give you the standard ones, turnover, special teams play. But here's one that doesn't get talked about much anymore, and that's time of possession. Whoever controls the football, gives their defense a break, and takes care of business, that's the team that's going to win this ball game. The punter Jack Fox has us ready to go, and we are underway here at Ford Field. From his end zone, Marvin Mims. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Now it looks like we've got a Bronco that's banged up on the play. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Stidham sets to throw on first. And he's taken down. Back at his own seven. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Didn't have the greatest field position to start, did they? And now after this sack, it's way, way worse. And right off the bat, first play of the game. Got to hope that's not a sign of things to come as they face an early second and long. To throw is Stidham. right side here going to be incomplete and this drive is almost over before it began thanks to a great defensive effort sack on first down followed by an incompletion one more good rep and they get off the field and i don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive this is third and long stidham He'll air this one out for Mims. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. And that might have been a situation where even though you don't hit on the deep throw, you at least put in the defender's minds early in the game that we're going to press the ball deep against your secondary. And that can have a ripple effect on how they function throughout. Here's Riley Dixon now, as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. Good open field tackling there. A 50-yard punt followed by just a one-yard return. And the Lions will take over. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. Well, they're brought out by a former number one overall pick coming off one of his best seasons ever in year seven of his career, now in year eight, Jared Goff. And at one point, the ascension of Jared Goff was really, really strong. Back-to-back -back Pro Bowls, took his team to the Super Bowl and came really within one quarter of winning it but since that time he's had bouts of inconsistency and that's been the struggle for him as he tries to get back to the form he showed earlier in his career and they start things off with a carry by Gibbs here and he'll manage to pick up about four it's second down well you don't turn your nose up at a gain of four do you they'll take that on first down playbook's got to be pretty well open on second and six From the 44-yard line, here's a second down and six. First carry now for David Montgomery. 
That one, a first down pickup of eight. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. On first down, it's gone. He gets this out wide to Gibbs. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that'll make it second down. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are. You know, make him make someone miss in the open field. An awful lot of congestion in the middle third of the field, but how about our defensive tackle right there? He didn't just hold the line. He provided some push and smacked the ball carrier down for a loss. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. Dancing away at the 35. Well, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. First down Detroit, 16 yards on the pickup. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially as pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. Now a first down throw, gone. Montgomery, another target and catch. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll bring up second down. Well, it seems pretty clear on this opening drive that they want to get him involved, not only, Charles, in the run game, but in the pass game as well. And he can be such a weapon for them when they utilize him this way. And partner, you know I'm a veteran, right? In other words, that means a little bit older. <laughs> Back in my day, we used to call a guy like this a workhorse, except he carried the ball all the time. Now they get it to him a variety of ways, but you're right, they want to run their offense through him. Excellent defensive effort to get to him and provide a little contact before the catch could be made cleanly. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Now Goff. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant and it's intercepted. And the Broncos are going to take possession here at their own 33. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. So now the second drive offensively coming up for the Denver Broncos. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt. They're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. A first carry for Samaj P. Ryan. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. They went three and out on their first drive. Things already looking better here, first and ten. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. Not sure what happened there, but he just didn't get the right read on the coverage that time. Pass wasn't where it needed to be, and that'll send them back to the drawing board. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now it's Stidham. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. And he's missed now in his first four passing attempts. The rhythm is just not there to begin this ball game. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. Here's Stidham to throw. 
And that will be incomplete as well. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part. It got them the football. But you're exactly right. It looks like they're going to have to punt this one away. And it's not a turnover. But doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah. And they had all that momentum after getting the football. And now zapped right back in the other direction. Dixon, the punter, is on as he sends it away. And this is a beauty as that ball's going to angle out at the six-yard line. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. That opening drive ended with the INT. It didn't lead to points, but still not the way they were hoping to begin the game. But how about going and telling your defense, thank you, a huge thank you. You said it didn't lead to points, stalled off that drive. Now they've got a chance to redeem themselves and maybe reward their defense a little bit by putting some points on the board on this one. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. So the completion good for just three. And that will bring up second down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger gain. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. It's a gain of 14 and a first down for Detroit. That's a very nice game there. A confidence building run. Love the execution up front and the way he pressed the hole. Absolutely perfect. Now a play fake and it's gone. And the Broncos get there and take him down. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there and it's second down. There's a reason it's our linebackers are often captains of a defense. They call the signals, they have the opportunity to affect the game in coverage, against the run, and of course on blitzes. Living in the best of both worlds here. Already has an interception. Now he gets to record a sack too. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Montgomery on the counter. And from the 15, they're able to work this up to the 20 for a pickup of a handful. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain. So he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice, dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed, and on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there finding him in stride for really good yardage. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Off play action. Here's Goff. This one swung out to Montgomery. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second down and one. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And St. Brown going to have the Lions first down as he'll get this up to midfield. Well, we've seen running backs in today's NFL get involved in the passing game. Maybe it's about time more receivers like that get involved in the running game. And that is something we are seeing more and more in this league, no question about it. That wasn't the biggest of gains, but it was enough to get them a first down. And it continues to test the defense. They have to think on every play about who might end up with the ball. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. That's about as good as a linebacker can diagnose that play, isn't it? It certainly is. And what he did really well is that while he was diagnosing, he got his feet in motion without actually going anywhere and taking a false step that he had to make up later. He read it, got his feet in motion, and then he just took off and made the play. There's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. 
Well, that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. And this is going to be another first down as he'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 32-yard line. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. And that's how you shake off the interception you threw on the opening drive, come back and throw another strike and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one. The man throwing the ball and the person calling the plays. They're not shutting him down early in this game. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. Really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Here's Goff now on second down. That's into the hands of Cody Freeman. What a methodical drive this is turning out to be. That time, nine yards, and the sticks move again. Slam route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. From the gun, it's a give to Montgomery. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. So it's the big left tackle who gets tagged with a hold. And sometimes you're actually executing the block well, and he starts to slip off of you. And instinctively, you reach out and grab him. And when it's done like that, it's often seen by the official and called. The boss throw complete there to St. Brown. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. It's a big play, yet amazingly, because of how far they had to go, they're still looking at a second down here. Goff now looking to throw. He'll go right back to St. Brown. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held them to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. To throw on second down is gone. Open man and he's got Williams. Touchdown Lions. Eight yards on the touchdown pass. And the Lions go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. Good bounce back drive right there through the pick on drive number one. Drive number two leads them right down the field into the end zone. Agree totally. Excellent bounce back. Tremendous poise. Confidence never lost. And obviously he transmitted that to his teammates as well. What a really nice drive. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. After one, 7-0 on EA Sports. Second quarter action now from Detroit, and it's the homestanding Lions who have the football. As they've got it.
Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. Taking it about the one. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. So the Broncos coming out now. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. It's Pirine to begin the drive, and they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. I think what we just saw there, partner, was linebacking speed that can trump O-line power. We see that at times because he filled the gap before the offensive lineman could get to the next level and take him on. The stop for no gain brings up second and ten from the 20. They stay on the ground. This time it's Williams. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Stidham. They'll set up the screen. This is Williams. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. Well, you can absolutely feel the thought process there. They just gave up the touchdown. So in the huddle, they're telling each other, you don't want to give it back now on a three and out. Nice job of making sure that they wouldn't, and they pick up the first down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now it's Stidham. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. A huge play there for Denver. 64 yards. Oh, big time credit. What a play design there. They wanted to get him loose in the open field, and they succeeded. He had all sorts of room to operate in, and they finally track him down inside the five-yard line. Williams is not going to get a whole lot, maybe a yard down to the three. Give him two yards on that one, second and goal now. Good first step there defensively, but they're still knocking on the doorstep, so maybe another run here? I think so. One of my favorite coaches just say, son, if you could darn near lay down near the end zone and get in, <laughs> give me my best power running play with my best back right now. Stidham. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. Ouch, could have been a game-tying touchdown. They'll have to hold on that at least for now. Ouch in a big way, like ripping the Band-Aid off there. Can they let the sting subside and come back and get it done? And this offense on third down today, just one for three thus far. This is third and goal. P. Ryan. And he pushed forward, but I don't think it's enough. He's going to be about a yard short. He needed three. He got two. Now that'll set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. Well, let's see what they do. They're knocking on the door here in the second quarter. And you know what you look at on your play sheet? your two-point conversion plays because you've drawn up a number of them in today's football. You don't just have one or two for the game. You have more like six or seven. And he will take it in for a Bronco touchdown. Javante Williams taking it in from a yard out. And the Broncos' decision to go for it pays off with six points. And no hesitation on the decision to go on fourth and goal from the one, and they punch it in. And I do believe that field position factors in there, too, because even if they don't get in, you're going to force the other guys to go to full 99 yards. So to me, a good calculated risk, which actually paid off. 
Lutz with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Lions and Jared Goff about ready to take over once more. He had the interception on the opening drive but bounced back to throw a touchdown last time out. And he'll look to build on that as they start first and ten. Here's Goff. Open man right side is St. Brown. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. Play action. It's golf. And his throw here is incomplete. Oh, man. For him to be that wide open and drop it, sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And, yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. They tried the throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 11 yards there and a line first down. Obviously an important run to avoid the three and out on your own side of the field. Shows a lot of faith in that offensive unit, doesn't it? That you want to run the ball in that situation. Pick up the first down. Also helps out your defensive guys a little bit too. Allows them to get at least one more series of downs in order to get some rest. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Cody Barton there to bring him down. He can rack up those tackles in bunches in the run game from that middle linebacker spot. And what he has to do is make sure he congratulates the guys in front and tells them thanks a lot because as the guy in the middle, the Mike linebacker, you're counting on your front three, your front four, your front five, whatever you've got in front of you to take up all the blocking, allow you to roam and hit. And that's what he did on that play. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential. But when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. On third down, they go Montgomery. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. 49 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Partner, there are strong running plays, and then there are plays where you simply outclass the defense, and we saw the latter there. They ran straight up the heart of that front for an excellent game and first down. Simply put, you've got to put up more of a fight defending the middle. Otherwise, this is going to be a long game. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. If you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Now a second and six. They'll fake the give. Now golf. He's got right on the short throw. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Goff on first down. He'll leave it for Montgomery complete. 
They'll wind up getting just a yard, and it'll be second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. On second down, here's Goff. Open man is Raymond. He's got it. They'll give him four yards there. And now third down and six to go. Goff now to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's right. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defensive side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. To the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. Call it a gain of three on the play, and it'll be second down. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. Little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Got his tight end, that's complete. It's Mitchell. Only able to gain a couple there, and it brings up third and five now. Again, golf. He's got his target. That's complete. And the Lions are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. You like to put together a long drive? You've got to be able to convert on third down, and they've done exactly that on this one. Sure enough, came up with another conversion right there. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Montgomery is in for a Lions touchdown. Well, he's been the workhorse on this drive, and it would have been unfair to bring someone else in to finish the job. So they go back to him again, and he delivers with a touchdown run. Here's Badgley now to try to add the PAT. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. That drive, a long one, spanning 15 plays. And it was David Montgomery's touchdown run that polished it all off. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. Denver's offense ready to go again. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Stidham. He'll find his tight end. It's Adam Troutman. First connection there of the afternoon for those two, and it's good for a first down. Now 
Jared Stidham. Going right side here, and that's complete. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. Here's second and ten. Here's Stidham to throw. They're dropping it off underneath. Here's P. Ryan. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Throwing again here, Stidham. Throw left side to Reynolds. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And he didn't quite have the bag spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. David Montgomery and the Lions about set to begin this next series. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. On first and 10, golf. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. After the incompletion, here's second and ten from the 20. Now Goff. That's caught by Montgomery. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Let's go, baby. Here's third and six. Out of the gun, Goff. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. A big play there just before halftime. 46 yards. A lot of running backs in the passing game, they're just used to check it down to them or maybe dump off passes. But this guy, they use him to stretch the field, don't they? The stretch it right there, turned it into a really nice game. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. To the air again, Goff. Going underneath, Gibbs has it. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the right hash, this from an even 40 yards out. Badgley able to punch this one through, and that will do it for this first half. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, back to you too in just a bit, but first, Welcome everyone to downtown Orlando and our EA Sports Halftime Report. In the first half, it was the veteran quarterback Jared Goff who had command of the offense. He's got a touchdown pass on the ledger as his guys were able to build a double-digit lead. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three.
A 10-point game, 17-7 the score as we get back to it on EA Sports. And this will not be returned, so the second half begins with a touchback. And the Lions getting set to go on offense to start the third. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and ten at their 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that'll be caught. It's St. Brown. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. That one goes for 24 yards. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him even if he has an elite defender on him because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Up the middle, it's Montgomery. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. On second down, here's Gibbs. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Here now a third down and eight. Goff. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. On the move past the 40. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Bucs 39. And they get 10 yards there and convert on third. I like the play design there. They occupied the defense downfield. Everyone trying to account for someone. But unfortunately, they didn't account for the running back slipping out of the backfield. And he was absolutely unnoticed and wound up getting big yards on that play. Now a first down throw, Goff. He'll be brought down by the Broncos, it's a sack. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. Well, we knew this guy wasn't especially fleet of foot, but he tried to conjure up some escapability, but there was no way he was getting away on that one. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24. Now a give running left with Montgomery. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he's taken down, but not before he gets to the Broncos 23-yard line. 87 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. As always, no rooting interest here. But that was pretty, wasn't it? To see him break through and then pick up his stride. Yeah, the guy carrying the ball loves it. I think the O-line, they might like and take more satisfaction out of those runs than anybody else, so, right? Without a doubt, because they're the ones that often have created it. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. It'll go as a gain of four, and that's going to bring up second down. Now it's Goff. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And the Lions are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Now that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Goff now looks to throw. And he's got it. He'll get only two there, and it's second and goal. But well, there wasn't much there with that hitch route. They didn't gain what they expected. But sometimes when you call a hitch, you really don't have an alternate to go to. You don't have a second route to throw it to. So sometimes you have to rifle in there and hope for the best. Second and goal from the one. Let's go. 
They'll run for it with Montgomery. And he's going to take it in for a Lion touchdown. David Montgomery, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Lions take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Sometimes offenses can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. So now a look at the Broncos as they head back out there for their first possession of the second half. They begin the drive with Williams. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. If you're in the offensive huddle, you're smiling after that play because you've certainly got them guessing now. Second and short, could they just hand it off for another big gain? Or do they take advantage of this spot to take a big shot downfield? They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Up the middle, here's Piran. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. Brandon, one thing about blitzes, they really confuse offensive linemen at times, and what you have to do is lock in on the guy right in front of you. If you don't, you saw the end result. Defensive tackle end up making the play. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Stidham. And that will be incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Here's Riley Dixon now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. Averaging over 50 yards a punt so far as this one's away. Taken in at the 22. They'll net only 35 here following a 43-yard boot, 8-yard return. And they will take over first and 10. You see David Montgomery heading back out to begin the drive. He is hoping to find the time, and we sit now in the third quarter. And nothing would excite him more, but I think even more so, his offensive line. Anytime you've got a guy scoring that many times, that means you've done a really nice job in front of him. You're always giving props to the big fellas up front. It's always a good idea. Those <laughs> are some massive men. On first down, it's gone. Now that'll be caught by St. Brown. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. So give him two yards there on the completion, and it's second down. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's going to line up out right and then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a counter two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Sure, that pass was incomplete as they made an attempt to get a big one downfield. But that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get the completion, at least you've told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit and they may have to change accordingly. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. Work in the middle of the field and he's got a man complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A really nice gain of 25 yards. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. 
So a first and 10 now in Denver territory at the 43. Play action. It's gone. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. Well, they've done a good job on these receivers. Pretty much held them in check. They're a little too close for comfort. And you're always looking for a play to get you going, right? You're looking for someone to make one. But maybe this penalty, this pass interference call, that can help shake them loose. On first down, gone. Gonna go down. He's sacked back at the 24. Baron Browning, the outside linebacker, coming up to drop him for a loss of a full 10 yards. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. Back to throw. Goff. He'll get this underneath to Montgomery. Two yards on the pickup there. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. The defense was ready for the back to leak out and even had a second player waiting to double him up. If you're going to commit to doubling a back, you better prevent a completion but give him credit, extra determination, extra effort, turn it into a successful play. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And in for the Lions, touchdown! Sam Laporta, a 22-yard touchdown grab, as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. As a general rule, quarterbacks don't want to lock in on a receiver before the ball is snapped. But in this case, based on the matchup he thought he was going to get, it was favorable for his tight end. He locked in on him early and found him for a touchdown. Badgley on for the extra point. And the lead is now 24. So the drive there took six plays, and it's capped off by a touchdown for the Lions. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Denver's offense now set to go. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand They've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. On first down, Stidham. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Just what they need, a lecture from me, but subpar offense is what helped get them into this spot. And now they're continuing the trend with incompletions. That won't get them out of it if they don't change something soon. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now it's Stidham. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting off the field. They've got options to dial up a blitz here or just drop everyone into coverage to crowd the throwing lanes. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Here's Stidham to throw. Throw out wide is incomplete. And we're into the second half now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. Here's Riley Dixon now. He's been terrific so far. 
Averaging 50 yards a boot so far as this one's away. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. David Montgomery and the Lions about set to begin this next series. We've seen him be good so far. He's hoping to continue that trend here in quarter number three. And typically when you see guys running it this well, they see the game in slow motion, don't they? They see the cuts happen, they see the blocks happen, they feel really good about their vision, and then they use their legs to find that open space. And he's had some good help up front to boot. They'll start on the ground with Montgomery. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. 94 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. From the lineman to the guy running with it, that was a well-executed first down by the offense. With two shots left to get the first, you can get a little aggressive here on second down if you want and try for some bigger yardage. Back to Montgomery on second down. And he'll push forward to the 37, gain of two. But that's all about doing the dirty work right there defensively. Second and short yardage, that's all about plugging those gaps, not giving a running back a crease to run through. It has a nice job to hold him just a couple and force a third down. Now they need two. Here's third down. Here's Goff. And to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. Now Goff on first down. Throw caught by Raymond. Second down and four. From the 50, it's Goff. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. That catch puts him over 70 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. Goff throwing again. Throws out left. It's caught by Williams. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. The Lions passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. And passing yardage-wise, now up over 350 in this game. Pretty nice performance. Definitely that, which usually means you're putting a lot of pressure on guys trying to cover. If you're a defensive back and they put over 350 yards on you, you've had a long day. The key to everything, if you're doing it without throwing interceptions or turning the ball over. Second and a couple. Now Goff. Open man is Raymond. He's got it. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. That'll put him at 77 yards receiving for the ball game. It's a first down. From the red zone now, Goff. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Call it a gain of a yard, and it'll be second down. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. 
Back now at Ford Field. Second and nine. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. On second down, Montgomery. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. Well, how about the big guy there showing some agility? He just flowed from his D-tackle position in order to make that play. Third and nine here. Now it's Goff off the bootleg. Across the middle, he's got it complete to St. Brown. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that's going to make it fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. Badgley's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So they're content to take the three. Somewhat of a conservative call there, opting not to go for it on fourth and inches. And that's from a team that you and I know is not usually playing it close to the vest. It's a little bit of a surprise that they opted for the three instead of going for it. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Taken at the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. And the football going back over to the Denver Broncos. And right now, these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with him punting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. Stidham's throw into the hands of Reynolds here. And they're able to get this one across the 35. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. And with this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. Well, we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late points. He wants his lead to stay right where it is. Another catch for him there. This one good for 11. First down. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. On first and 10, it's Stidham. Pass taken in by P. Ryan. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. That one goes for 30 yards. At this stage, there's nothing left to do but to keep firing. And if you're a play caller, you may go off your sheet and use some things maybe you hadn't planned to in this game. Maybe that was one of them there that worked. Now Stidham on first down. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And all the way down inside the five to the four. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. Followed it up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. They run it with P. Ryan on first down. Now he's able to break through one tackle, but it slowed him down enough that he could only manage getting back to the line of scrimmage. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. They'll fake the jet sweep, and it's got to give up the middle to Williams. And he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown. Javante Williams with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Broncos get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. 
Lutz will look to add the extra point. And the lead is down to 20. That time, a six-play drive. And it was capped off by a Javante Williams touchdown. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. See David Montgomery heading back out to begin the drive. He's toppled the century mark already receiving the football, closing in on that on the ground, too. They've really had trouble handling him. I think from what we've seen in this game, his success through the air has started to open things up for him on the ground because now he's loosened up the defense, right? They've got to play just about every snap as if another receiver can get downfield on them, and he's been that receiver. Now they bring him back to the backfield. I think his yardage running the ball will increase as this one goes on. Well, they might need to devote some extra attention to him, something just to stop the momentum he has. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. That gives him 98 yards in this game, and he's got to feel pretty good about that, but the entire offense does. The big thing, though, Brandon, they've got to get to 100, though. You think he knows he's at 98? I think someone has told him by now, and here's the thing. Getting to 100 or more is tangible evidence that you've had a nice day running the football, and that's what his offensive line wants for him and for themselves. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. 106 yards rushing for him now to this point. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. That's caught inside the 20. Touchdown, Detroit. Jared Goff with his third touchdown pass of the afternoon as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. So still throwing here in the fourth quarter with a pretty sizable lead, and now that lead even more sizable. And if nothing else here, CD, a chance to pile on some stats before this one wraps up, and he did just that. Brandon Convention tells us it's time for them to get off the gas a little bit, right? But you and I both know the receivers don't want them to because... As you noted, this is their chance to pile on the stats. If they got their way, they try to get every single spot in the depth chart points before this game is over. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. And Denver getting set to take the field. Stidham sets to throw on first. Slant pass. He's got Reynolds. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They can go ahead and mark it in the win column. But as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. A good first down call as the screen play gets him nine. And they've used him in the passing game to great effect so far. And here they get it to him again on the screen. And it turns into a nice positive play. Just need a yard here. Second and one. Stidham. That's taken in. Complete to Reynolds. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, 
<laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage. When you see a play like that where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big time play by the defense. They'll throw on first down with Stidham. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. Now defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw, and they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game, and that was a big talk both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So big credit to them holding them under 200 today. Seven catches for him now in this last one, a first down. All that practice time came to fruition on that play. All those timing routes that they work on through training camp, OTAs, mini camp, and just regular season, they got it done on that one. An out cut, ball was delivered, and picked up the completion. Stidham will throw again. And a quick throw there is incomplete. Ball on the 30 as they come up, second and 10. Here's Stidham. Wide open receiver complete. Touchdown, Broncos. Tim Patrick, 30 yards. And the Broncos are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. He's got them out now to a three-score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, C.D., and... Well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way, and he secured it for six points. Yeah, and I think when you're leading by a healthy margin already, it actually loosens you up and allows you to take maybe a few more chances and definitely play with more confidence because he certainly saw something he could exploit in the defense, and he made sure to let his quarterback know, just get it to me. And the rest was all up to him, and he delivered and made it a three-score game. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Jamison Williams and the Lions get set for this next possession. Let's see here, Charles. Six catches, over 100 yards. Call that a pretty good day at the office. And I love the accumulation, the catches, the yardage. That means he's having a pretty good impact on this ball game and really helping his team out in a big way. Means he wants the football again, right? And it's funny because some of these receivers are very vocal about how much they're getting it. Others are quieter, but they still let you know, give me the ball, I'm going to make a play. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. Brendan, every great running backs coach I've talked with has always talked about when you have great vision, you're not consciously thinking about your cuts and your moves. You're just doing them. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. He's about run them into submission, uh, hasn't he? You took the words right out of my mouth. I was just going to use that phrase. He has run them into submission. Wave the white flag. First down, they run again. Here's Montgomery. Yeah, and he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. End result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game, or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Hate to be blunt, but it is just continuing to prove to be the case that this O-line is manhandling this D-line right now. They deserve to roll up their sleeves and show up their biceps because they're doing exactly what you just described, manhandling the defensive front. They've got the leverage, they're powering through, and they're controlling this game. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. 
He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. When we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. From the gun, it's a give to Montgomery. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Seven yards there and a first down. Well, I don't think there's any question, Brandon, at this stage, the stop troops, the defensive guys, they've got to use their three timeouts here. They've got to stop them and get the ball back. Yeah, if you're in that two to three score deficit window that they're in now, you got to get it ASAP. Yeah, no doubt about it. Stop them, use your timeouts. Easier to move the ball on offense without timeouts than to stop them on defense without using them. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. They're in a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves, start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. Going up the gut, Montgomery. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck fifty now, and this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Goff now to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Lions first down, and he was able to get it by plenty. A gain of eight on third and three. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. And he's brought down. That one good for 17 yards, and now they've got it first and goal. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips, they're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys are just saying, let's just... And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. A one-yard touchdown run as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. So he had the nice run to get him down there, was stopped just short of the goal line, but they go right back to him, CD, and he delivers to finish the drive off. A little extra determination there, don't you think, partner? You notice he didn't tap on his helmet and say, get me out after the run down to the end zone. He said, I almost got in. I'm going to get in on my own. I'm staying in, and he carries it across the goal line. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And that stretches the lead all the way up to 27. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said... They've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag is down. This could possibly be a push-off. Looked like some hands both ways. They got it on the offense. And sometimes there's a fine line between being the receiver and the DB, and he knocked that one away. Might have caused an incompletion that could have been an interception. Now it's Stidham. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Reynolds. 
It's a big play, yet amazingly, because of how far they had to go, they're still looking at a second down here. To throw is Stidham. And his throw is incomplete. That was a nice job defensively of disguising their coverage and making it difficult for the quarterback to lock in on a receiver. And it results in an incomplete pass. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Now Stidham off play action. Finally be escorted out of bounds down inside the 35. A huge play there for Denver and even 40 yards. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Well, that frustration, Charles, it's been building on the defensive side of the ball, and unfortunately there, it turns into a roughing the passer penalty. Yeah, and they should be frustrated because he's picked them apart the entire game, but it's got to come out in a different way. You can't hit him illegally. Stop him downfield the way you're supposed to. That's good. The completion there for seven yards at its second down. scoring game Charles than we typically see in the National Football League but fun to watch these offenses they were really clicking it seemed like everything that they dialed up worked yeah it certainly was fun to watch from our perspective how'd you like to be those defensive coaches though that wasn't a blast for them at all and let's face it they all game plan they all scout they all think they're prepared but execute